So pencil lead is exciting stuff. Pencil lead is exciting stuff, okay, for physics. It's not just for penciling stuff in your diary, okay? There's lots of interesting stuff that you can do. You could take the little piece of pencil lead and you could measure its diameter with a micrometer and you do it five times along the, the length to make an average and then you go ahead and work out radius and then you could do a little bit of resistivity, couldn't you? Yeah? With your multimeter set on an ohm meter setting or with a full on ohm's law kind of circuit, yeah? And you could use the little probes here to measure the resistance at different lengths and you could do, um, yes, definitely very low resistance, 20 ohms, pretty low resistance, isn't it? You could do resistivity of graphite and that would be interesting, that would be exciting. But it's not as exciting as what we can do with our pencil lead, so here we go. So because it's got a low resistance, when I put a voltage across it, I'm going to get a high current. And really I've been using this as a way to show the heating effect of current, which is a really important thing to understand when we're talking about power lines, when we're talking about um, wasting energy, uh, and when we're talking about actually transferring electrical energy, so electrical work in VIT, um, which is voltage times current times time, is electrical energy we transfer into heating, which is MC delta T, which is specific heat capacity, yeah. When you're thinking about heating effect in a wire, just imagine the ions, they're the fixed kind of atoms that aren't moving, and imagine the electrons, and then rub your hands together, and imagine all those collisions of those electrons with those ions, and think about all that heat that's making. Thank you. What's the difference between the red wire and the black wire, Kai? Different colours. Thank you. So, <laughs> that joke before? <laughs> Listen at school, otherwise you, you'll be made for the full. So, here we go then. Kai, you're going to be with the man on the power pack. 0.5 millimetre diameter pencil lead, so I'm not going to click, I'm just going to touch these two. So we're on one, yeah? On. Yeah, you can just leave it on and just turn it up. It gets, right, let's do it. Keep going. Next one. Ooh. Oh, oh man, that is getting bright. Keep going. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What happened? Did it break? Okay. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> it's getting, getting brighter. Don't try to stare at it, try to stick it in the corner of your eyes. Right, that's it. Oh, I overloaded it. Whoa. Next one. Keep going. It's cool, isn't it? It's how a filament bulb, obviously, and a light bulb works. When I did this, the class calculated power, so that's voltage times current, and they also calculated resistance, and we were expecting it like a filament bulb to have a higher resistance when it got hotter, but that didn't happen with the graphite. So I think that's um, an interesting point that uh, resistance goes up when metallic conductors get hot, but not all conductors get a higher resistance when they get hot. I think we're we'll getting right on that, can't we? Yeah, we go. There you go. Whoa! Oh, that's yeah, that's bright. bright. I think I can feel how hot that is. Yeah, yeah. Can you? Wow, yes, that's the brightest it's been. It's like magnesium, isn't it? It's good, isn't it? Yeah. Alright, now. Well, I think, oh. And it's Whoa. finally it's fused. That, we bumped it. So fusing means that well it's now snapped into two pieces, so it's actually melted. So this also shows you how a fuse works as well. Nice one. Yeah. We made it happen. It smells like steak.